Today's task is to fit a new set of brakes. These are the brakes I'm going to be fitting. So they're the Hope V4s in purple. I've also got an adapter for the fork and got some purple reservoir caps as well and some matchmakers. I hope I've just started producing these new specific e-bike rotors. So they're thicker and they're actually cheaper than the floating rotors. I'm going to do the front brake first. I'm just going to undo this. That's all off now. What we're going to do next is I'm just going to loosen top. There we go. So that's the caliper off. I think it's going to be easiest if I take the shifter off first. And now move round to the front of the bike and we're just unscrewing this bolt here. That's the lever off. Need to swap the disc over next. So I'll just take the wheel off. Just removing all of the bolts. Last one. Just getting the last bolt tightened up here. Just getting the wheel back on the bike. In the box you get the brake itself. You get uh, two bolts and washers, so those are to fit the caliper onto the fork. You also get a spare olive and a washer um, for shortening the hose. Fitted, uh, I think, are organic pads, and you also get some e bike pads, so those are purple backed, and then you get the centered pads, and um, so I'm going to be fitting the e-bike pad. It makes sense to change the pads now uh, it's a wee bit easier here rather than on the bike um, so what I've done is I've removed this wee circle up here uh, just from the other end of the bolt okay. so that's the bolt out and the circle up out well the brakes are quite either way either push them from the top or from the bottom and they just come out. There we go. Uh, make sure your hands are clean and there's no grease or anything on them because you don't want to contaminate a set of pads. That's the spring that I have swapped across. And all you need to do now is squeeze the pads together and you can either push them in from the top here or the bottom. There we go. All done and ready to fit to the bike. The matchmaker clamp, which is this black bit, it's uh, the design of this has changed a bit. We now bolt in from this side and it's actually threaded in there. Um, whereas before there was actually a slot there and you actually put in a wee uh, square washer, um, but they must have changed the design a wee bit. Um, so handily enough, the matchmaker clamps have R and L on them, so you know which one to use. So that's the right hand one on. The other bolt in the matchmaker pack is to attach the shifter. Just attaching the brake adapter here. The next step is to attach the caliper onto the adapter. Um, so what you want to do here is make sure that the rotor is in the centre of the caliper. Well, that took a wee while, uh, but I'm hoping I can show you here the guideline and the disc. Uh, and the disc should be centralised in the middle there. That's the caliper all fitted. Also got this bit uh, screwed back on to hold the hose. Um, so the hose at the moment is a bit long uh, and down here so I'll probably need to take maybe a couple of inches off that. I'm going to leave the hose shortening and the bleeding uh, until the rear brake's on as well. I'm going to take this caliper off. 
So that's the rear caliper off. Uh, so it's a bit trickier with the rear brake because you'll see the hose uh, threads through the swing arm and then pops out here at the front. I'll undo these wee clips here. And that one. And then need to come up to the lever end and remove this rubber bit. Okay. Before I decided to take the hose off, uh, I've also wrapped the disc and the caliper with a, a clean rag, just in case. It's then a case of getting a spanner on here. So to loosen this, it's just an 8mm uh, spanner. So we have the olive and stuff at the end here. So those aren't going to fit through the frame. So we need to snip this. What I've done is uh, I don't want the fluid coming out of this uh, as I pull it back through the frame. So I've put some tape over it to try and keep it sealed. That's the tape cut. Uh, and now I'm going to attach a probably a gear cable to this end, uh, just with some more tape and pull it back through. That's my gear cable attached. Uh, hopefully this won't be too bulky to fit through there, down through there, pop out there, into the swing arm, and then out there. Not impressed. This plastic thing here uh, that the cables feed into to go into the frame, so you've got plenty of space behind, but this is so tight that even with, I've removed the length of hose that I had attached, uh, and even with these small wee edges of tape, such a tight fit through this, that it won't fit. At this end, I'm not sure where there, there are internal guides to bring me out here. Just remove the uh, lever here. So this has turned out to be a bit of a faff, uh, but what I have managed to do is I've managed to thread through a, just a, like a gear cable. Um, so in here, through the swing arm and out here. So what I'm going to do from this end is I'm going to slide the gear outer over it now. So I've now threaded this gear outer on top of the cable that was already here. So I've actually slid the inner down the inside of the brake hose a little bit and I've taped these two together and I'm hoping by pushing from this end and pulling from that end I should be able to get both of them through and out the other side. Here we go, uh, so that works really well actually, feeding the black and uh, just pulling the purple lightly. Next we need to go up through here and then I'll be able to zip tie there and then out through here. Before I go any further with uh, rooting the hose, I'm just going to secure this temporarily um, and then I can adjust it once the hose is all through. It was easy enough to get the hose threaded through there and I'm not even going to bother taping this this time. I've just got a short section of the inner uh, going from the purple to the black. So I should just be able to feed it up through here and it should pop out at the top. And underneath, you can see I've got my zip ties already ready uh, for where the, the cable will be clipped in. Here we go. Yeehaw. Just need to slide the shroud down the black hose and get the lever attached to get, get it up onto the bar. So I have the shroud and the new olive. Uh, this, these are also new parts here, not forgetting the copper washer. And then that just gets pushed in to the lever. And then you slide up the shroud and tighten it up. Just give this a last wee tighten. So the, the way this works is as you tighten up the shroud here, it compresses the olive uh, onto the hose and onto the other fitting and that gives you a good tight seal. 
So that's the hose uh, just the right length. That's all the zip ties uh, neatened up. That's the battery back in. And we've got a squeeze. There we go. I'm now removing the bolts off the rear disc. Got my magnet back on. It's important for the speed sensor. And I'm just going to get these bolts tightened up. Just removed the pads that come actually fitted to the brake and I've replaced those with the purple ones and I'm just tighten this bolt up. Just pumping the brake lever to make sure that the pads are actually contacting the disc and the pistons are out of their bores. I've rigged up the bike with the front wheel up nice and high and the reason for that is when I'm bleeding the rear brake, this bleed valve needs to be at the highest point on the caliper. Because if it's down here and the pistons are up here, then you'll end up with air in behind the pistons that won't make its way out. So this is the best way that I came up with of getting this just about at the highest point. I've got a sling here just to stop the wheel moving and this angle is required because I need to get this uh, reservoir horizontal. Just going to remove the cover for the bleed nipple here and then I'm going to attach this length of tubing like this. I'll get that down into the tub. At the lever end I have undone the two bolts and I've lifted off the cap and that then leaves this uh, diaphragm. I've sat this wee rubber diaphragm on. Uh, that, that comes with the bleed kit, uh, the Hope bleed kit. And then I'm going to set this cap on top. It's tightened up. Okay. Doesn't need to be super tight, just enough to make a seal. You can now screw on the Hope Reservoir. I've put the bung in and I've topped it up with plenty of fluid and now we're ready to start uh, the bleed process. What you will need to do is wind the lever out as far as possible, both the bite point and the reach, to get the biggest space possible between the grip and the lever. Take the bung out, open this a quarter of a turn, like that, leave that open, squeeze the lever to the bar and hold it, close this again, quarter of a turn, and then you can release the lever and you just keep doing that process until no more bubbles come out of the glue pipe. I've bled the hose. Um, what I've just done here is I have just pushed the pistons back into their bores just in case there is a little bit of fluid trapped in behind the pistons here. So before I did that, I opened this for only about an eighth of a turn. Um, so hopefully if there was any air, that will have forced it out. And then I'll just do the same wee procedure again, uh, pulling the lever, opening this quarter of a turn, do that a few more times. So I'm now gonna give the lever a couple more pumps. So that feels like a nice solid lever. So that's me done down at this end. And now carefully remove this and I'm going to get just a wee bit of tissue with a, a point on it and put that into the bleed nipple and that will just soak up any excess. Now I'm going to put the cap back on 
Oh, finally, I'm just going to give it a wee straight and a wipe with a clean rag. Just put the bung in the top there to seal that and I can unscrew this. So I can now take these bolts out and remove this bleed cap, cap and diaphragm can come off. I now need to carefully roll this diaphragm on from this end to the other end. So just tighten up the caps, they don't need to be that tight. Give the whole thing a spray including the reverb underneath in the bar. Don't want any of that stuck on. I'm just going to dry off. And there we have it. Break blade. So it's exactly the same procedure here on the front. Uh, pistons are all out their bores. Down at the bottom here I've fitted the bleed hose and up here I've fitted the Easy Blaze reservoir onto the top of the caliper. Repeat the same procedure. Open the bleed valve by quarter of a turn. Pull the lever. Close the bleed valve. Release the lever. I'm just going to repeat that until all of the air comes out of the bleed valve here. Back up to the lever. Give it a good couple of pumps. Dislodge any air, so that feels like a real good lever feel. Uh, so that's good. So remove this and get the reservoir and the cap on. Just been out for a ride. Uh, just been bedding the brakes in and that's it all done. So that's the levers with their purple top caps. Calipers here and here. Overall, pleased with the result and hope that this helps someone else to do the same. Cheers for now.